Welcome to the Vault Hunters SMP! I will be joined with four other YouTubers. Links to their channels will be in the description so you can follow along with all of our videos. In this mod pack, we're gonna be running vaults, collecting stuffs and things, and building a lot of stuffs and things. It's gonna be crazy! So let's get started. Welcome to Vault Hunters! We have CWG. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and Stircat joining us. Fuzzy knows that we always forget him. We are playing Vault Hunters. We are going to work Ooh. collaboratively together. I, I think. I hope, guys, right? Yeah. And uh, we are going most to run some vault. Are. We are going to do our best to try and survive. So I hope you guys enjoy this wonderful journey we're about to undertake. So this is it, guys. Welcome to Vault Hunters, a mod pack created by Iskal. In this mod pack, we're going to be running vaults, which is like dungeons, and we have to get a bunch of stuffs and things, which will help us. It'll, it'll make more sense. Just continue to watch the series, and I'll explain things as we go. But in this mod pack, the first few episodes is going to be basically like playing vanilla. Everything will be pretty much the same. Although, as you can tell, there are some new cool-looking biomes. Like, there's like an autumn biome over there. That looks pretty neat. And over there, you can kind of see the distance as a redwood forest you know those big trees that are in california pretty awesome so this world we did a random seed and it spawns us like right in a village so as you can see the tab list there is five of us and we'll be working together to try to take on this pack i'm gonna start by getting some basic tools some hay for food and i'll meet you guys back all right guys i found some villagers and something cool you could do in this pack is just shift right click them boom you picked them up hello there cleric i'm gonna go pick up a bunch of these guys because these guys are gonna be very important for progressing in this pack pick up and i'll take you boom three villagers we got bob bobby joe and bobby ray and it looks like fuzzy is the first death on this server as you can see in the player list he now has one death that means once we make the vault altar jei here which is just enough items which shows you all the stuffs and things and we look at the vault altar as which is something that we're gonna have to make later it requires a block of diamond and we made a bet whoever dies first has to provide the diamond block so thank you fuzzy for your contribution all right, guys, I got some basic tools and let's give an update of what's going on over here. So as you can see, in the center of this thing is called a waystone. Now we don't have it unlocked, but it lets you teleport to other waystones later in the game. Here, I've divided up this area into five quadrants. Let me open up my map here. So we are here and these little things that I built out here are gonna mark off each slice of land that we have. So imagine there's like, lines here like that's one slice here one slice here and i put signs saying who's gonna live in each slice like that stir cat slice our slices here i got a chest uh we don't have much stuff yet but yeah so our plan is to dismantle this entire village and then we're gonna build houses in each of our quadrants and that'll be our starting basis also, in the top right of my screen, you can see it says five unspent skill points. So if I press H on my keyboard, it brings up this menu. Now don't get overwhelmed, there is a good amount of stuff here. So there's different abilities we can get, like there's cleanse, which I think it gets rid of negative player effects like poison. The first thing I want to spend it on is Vein Miner. It allows you to mine four blocks of the same type at once. So let's go ahead and learn that and I'll show you how it works. So as you can see right here is some logs. If I hold down my ability key and mine it, boom, we just mined all of it at once. Same will work for cobblestone. Oh my goodness, I love Vein Miner. So yeah, I'm going to work on dismantling some of these houses. Vein Miner is definitely going to help with that. And let's get things rolling. For our next skill point, we're going to do some hot twerking action. If we go to our skill tree here, there's something called twerker. Grants the ability to speed up tick rate to several objects while holding shift. And the more you level it up, the better it gets. So level one is good enough for crops. So let's go ahead and learn that. Now, if I hold shift next to these seeds, look at it go. Then we just right click to pick it, plant some more wheat. And then we twerk, twerk, twerk those crops. And if we right click with a hoe, we can harvest a whole bunch at once. This will be very useful for early game food. And our boy Rob over here is working on villager stuffs and things. For our next skill point, I think we're gonna learn the dash ability. So if we go to here, there's dash. Dash in a direction of player's facing could also be combined with an elytra. So that'll be useful in a bit later. So let's go ahead and learn that. So I believe all I have to do is face a direction and press this button. Woo, see, we skirted forward a bit. You can see it recharging in the bottom left of my screen. I can also change between Vade Miner and Dash by just opening this wheel here by pressing left alt. I mainly wanted this so that way it can help me with my building. As you can 
can see I'm starting to mark off an area for a starter house. I found this rock underground called Scoria, and you can make Scoria pillars out of it. You can also make these Scoria bricks, which I think look kind of neat. So the sides of the house are going to be these Scoria pillars, and I should be able to use dash to get on top of it. Yeah, look at that. Helping with building. And this chest over here has everything in our name. We got a few diamonds already, so that's not bad. I got the stone cutter here, which we could use to make like different types of deep slate. Hmm. I think I'll get a mixture of deep slate bricks and deep slate tiles. We got a house we gotta make. And fast forward a couple hours. Wow, I'm in full diamond. How did that happen? Well, honestly, it's not too hard. I'll show you how. We got our armorer over here that sells all the diamond armor. Yes, this is our little villager trading hall that we've been using. And in order to get the emeralds, it's pretty easy. If you go over here and hold shift, our twerker ability grows these crops up nice and fast. And then we just spam right click with our hoe and we get tons of carrots. Then you take your tons of carrots and then profit for emeralds with the farmers. Also, remember how you can pick up the villagers? I've been picking them up and renaming them. As you can see, each of these has its own enchantments. We got looting, fortune, sweeping edge, protection, you name it. Actually, what's this guy? Mr. Librarian, you are Infinity. I did not rename you yet. You can rename them by simply putting them in the anvil and call them Infinitato. There we go. Smack this guy in our collection. Yeah, we got a nice collection of villagers now. Also, Rob built something amazing. Let's just get over here real quick. Use some dash skirt. Oh, that's the villager breeder in here. Let's take a peek inside. Yep, they're slowly breeding and giving us more villagers. Villagers is going to be the key to progressing in this pack so we can get to the end because we have to defeat the ender dragon in order to get the vault altar. And that's like where this mod begins. For now, it just feels like we're playing vanilla. But over here, uh, Rob has made an iron farm. Yeah, there's like some villagers up there and a zombie and stuff and things. And yeah, boom, already another stack of iron. Thank you, Rob, for making the iron farm. Oh, you hear that? It's another iron gold. Beautiful. Also in this pack, there's a mod that adds a whole bunch of extra biomes, which I think I mentioned earlier, like that crazy birch forest. Here are some of the trees that people have uh, gone around and found. And here are all the different types of wooden planks that come from it. There's like a, a silver wood, red wood, this wood, and one of my favorites, rainbow eucalyptus. It's literally rainbow wooden planks. So this over here is the house that I've been working on. We're using deep slate and scoria pillars, which is a red type of stone that you can mine. Um, it needs a little bit of an interior and a floor, and I'm going to be making a second floor. Let's dash on here. Whew. And yeah, I was using the red wood planks. And I must say, this red and black theme feels amazing with these like scoria pillars that I need to place over here. So yeah, stuff and things are going on along nicely. Yeah, we're gonna have to tear this whole village down. And yes, your eyes did not deceive you. That's a black chicken. Also, did I mention we have full protection for armor? I got a sharpness five sword with sweeping edge that we could use when we're in the vaults. And I gotta put this looting book on it, but I need a few more levels, so more trading with the villagers, yay. And status update. And oh baby, are we speed running Minecraft right now? As you can see, we added a little structure around our villager hall. Let me jump in here. Yeah. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Let's try that again. Whew, there we go. I love the dash ability. Um, so yeah, we have a nice structure to keep our villagers safe. And over there is a nether portal. Why is this important? Because we used it to get ender pearls. And if we check our valuables chest, boom, stack of blaze rods. Took a while to get, but we finally did it. So of course, with ender pearls and blaze rods, it's time to make the you know what. And that is, of course, 16 Eyes of Ender. We have to beat the Ender Dragon in order to get the altar. Just to show you guys, this is the thing we're trying to get, the vault altar. And we need purple blocks, which of course you have to go to the end to get. So that's why we're speedrunning the dragon right now. Look, it's a wild fuzzy. In this mod pack, they nerfed diamond armor. So as you can see, it has less protection than normal diamond armor would. So it's really not that strong, even with full protection for. Of course, we got Pokey Boy, a pretty good sword. I think it's about time we find that stronghold. All right, guys, we used our eyes of Ender and we have found the location of the stronghold. We're currently going down. It's me, Fuzzy, Red Rob, and, and Code. We're going down. We're going to find this thing. I'm on top of... Okay, okay, that was a mild panic. I'm in the library. Oh, this is... Oh, wait. Time for water bucket clutch. Mm. Oh, nailed it. Oh, uh, look I at all these silk-touchable silk so bookshelves. Oh, I hear a spoiler. 
Well, come at me, spoiler. I'm trained to jujitsu. You guys good? No, no. I am not. <laughs> not good. Ooh, Very not good. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, this is Can I just say, this is the me. worst place this could have spawned. Yeah, really. This is really horrible. It also didn't help that someone set off the monster spawner. Ooh, there we go. Oh, it's there jumping right in. Is it safe, uh -oh. Fuzzy? No. Uh, no, not at all. I'm scared. Uh, oh, my God, that's miles. All right, I'll come in. <laughs> ah, I'm scared. <laughs> it's safe. Oh, I can come in. All right, up we go, right? Up we go. Okay. You mining? You got me too. I'm up. Oh, God. Oh, I don't like that. Oh my. Ah! He's launching balls at me! Alright, got that. Uh oh, oh, uh oh, uh oh. Is he shooting uh -oh. at me? I'm confused. Oh. There's so much. He's like shooting so much <laughs> dragon's breath everywhere. I got Jeez. Yay! Smack him! Oh, we could have bought some beds to you can't up. shoot up. You can't shoot the boat at the moment. Smack him! Ah! Oh, oh whoa! Whoa! Okay. okay. Oh, it's coming down. Oh, but there's purples everywhere. <laughs> crit it! Crit! 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 He's gonna oh, get the kill. And we got it, JJ! Oh, Drop oh. got it! <laughs> Whoa! Take that, Jane. Take that. Uh, Jane never that stood a guy. chance. Oh, nice. oh, it's all falling in. No! Hey! I got five. Give me that XP. <laughs> run, run! Ah! Run, Cinema G, run! Quickly! I'm good. <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, I tried to find an end island, but Code found one. And then he got an Ooh. elytra. And then he managed to find four other elytras. So, hey! <laughs> we are elytra now. You want to you see this here, Cinema G? Here, just take a look right here. Yeah, can I look have Look at elytra? this right there. Whoa! Nice. Two, three real three, estate. Four, and one on me. Even a waste stone. <laughs> So mm -hmm. I got a waystone, I got a stasis book, uh, some, a well, prop fortress. One, one. That's not bad. I have an ancient Ooh. tome. What does this look like? It's so black. So it's very Wait, void. where's the, where's the, oh, let's see, let's see what blocks it makes. Oh, wow. This is my favorite. Void stone is my favorite block. polished void stone bricks. I can barely yeah. tell the texture. Would you like an Ender Air bottle? I don't know what this is. Or what Give me that Ender Air bottle. Can, I, I need it. I need, I need it. it. <laughs> oh. oh, I just threw it. <laughs> all right, guys, I got the elytra all enchanted up. As you can see, we got unbreaking and mending. And check this out. You know how we have the dash ability? If we use the dash ability while we're flying, look, it acts like fireworks. It's propulsion. No need for fireworks. We can just fly around all we want. Oh, this is so good. Look at, look at Code Go. Woo. So I believe Fuzzy is working on making the first vault altar. The thing that lets us actually run the vaults and start the point of the spec. I know you guys have been waiting for so long. I'm trying to rush through this. Ah! Also, look at this industrial hemp. I believe it's used to make string or something. I don't know. I'm sure it's useful. Gentlemen, we finally have all of the elements needed for our own vault altars. Yes. Are you guys ready? Oh, Let's I'm craft ready. So ready. So at ready. At the same time. All right, you ready? Okay. Uh, go ahead and put the stuff in here. I'm putting it in. I'm Mine is in. in. I can see it. I can, I can taste it. I can see it. It's right oh, there. I can see it too. Are you guys ready? In three, Oops. two, one. Go. Oh, I prematurely I got it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. It's a tiny little altar. We I know it's small. small. Oh. Ah, that was big. Oh, oh, hide it. Nice. <laughs> you saw. Ah! Look at this. Kill it. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> All right. So I guess what we're gonna do is we're gonna place our altars in our own little houses and bases. That way we can kind of work on our own to get all the resources needed for the vault crystals. Yeah. And then we will take these vault crystals over to our vault portal. Bum, bum, bum. Still going to work on building like a shelter around it or something. I, I don't know what you guys want to do, but uh, this is just going to be great. And we're going to just kind of like the minimalist here. version of it. And then we're just going to have so much fun inside these vaults. See you guys. Oh, this is going to be so good. Oh, it doesn't work yet. Uh, <laughs> you saw it guys we have the vault altar now so this is the perfect cliffhanger to leave you guys off on i'm sorry but next episode we will do our first vault run look at this thing it's majestic tell me what you guys think of this new series in the comments are you hyped i know i am cwg out